Hi, welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. And I'm Special K, and tonight we're going to be doing some Australian beers. We have uh, Foster's, and we have Foster's uh, Premium Ale, also called Foster's Bitter, I believe. And we also have Cooper's Sparkling Ale. Radar. What do you want to start with? Start with the ones closest to you. <coughs> the, Go blue, with the blue. With the, the blue label Foster's. The original. Yeah. We're going to drink out of our nice and cold Pilsner glasses. Even though this is not a Pilsner glass. Is it? Kind of. It kind of is. That's yellow. It's, it's definitely yellow. Nice hay yellow color. Yep. The head. White head. White head. It's sticking with it pretty well, actually. It doesn't smell super, super sweet. It's a little, no. a little grainy. Definitely corny. It's. It's a light, a light a, to medium carbonation. You have you have ice sitting on the side of your glass. I know. Now. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it, I would confuse this with your typical fizzy American yellow beer. With Foster's, uh, and some, a lot of Pilsner's, you're, well, Pilsner styles, you want to drink them as cold as you possibly can. That's why we're drinking them out of the, uh, Pilsner glasses, been in the freezer for a little bit. It's a bit skunky. I don't get skunky from that. That's the word that I. That's the word that came to mind. That's not it's, skunky. Um, it's, it's not, not skunky. It's, it's got an odd taste to it, but it's not skunk. It's because if it's skunky, you'd have it in the smell too. I don't smell it though. That's that's the weird part. There's no skunk there. It's some of the adjuncts in it. It's um, filler. Some of the filler they use in it. It's not bad. That's not a terrible beer. I can drink it. It's, it's definitely a corny. little bit. Um, it's a little bit expensive to have a, a taste like that floating around in it, though. Two fifty for a twenty-five ounce can. Not terrible. So, yeah. It's got an odd bitterness to it. I don't. Wanna, I don't even think it's. It's not necessarily. I don't think it's hoppy bitterness. It doesn't it's remind not, me of a hoppy bitterness. It's not at all. It's got something weird in it that's given it that bitterness. Um, I'm gonna have to read about Foster's later to figure out um, what it is. It's a light mouthfeel. I could. Uh, I could probably that's I could probably drink this. It's funny because I just pointed out the radar here that it says product of the USA on the bottom of the can. Um, How is it a product of the USA? Is it? I thought this was supposed to be like Australian for piss. I mean beer. Who would you rate this radar? Uh, four. I don't I don't generally buy it unless someone sends me to buy it. I'm gonna give it uh, a 5.5, slightly above average. It's all right. Um, I don't know if I buy it again. Mm, it's just there's nothing special about it. But I mean, it's not necessarily bad. But that odd bitterness throws me off a little bit. But it's still pretty drinkable. That really weird flavor is just what throws me off of it. I don't, I don't like it very much. Next, we're gonna be trying the. Foster's Premium L, which is 5.5% alcohol by volume. This one does not I'm pretty sure that's also 5.5. Roll the can there. Bleh. How many does it say? Uh, okay. I don't have fingernails. Little girl. I don't have fingernails. Look, neither do I. I just clipped my fingernails. And you know what? Much darker. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get a good vigorous. It looks kind of like there. a. It's got a nice surge. It looks kind of like a nut brown or something. It is an and interesting it's, color. It's got a what of a kind of a khaki, a ca kind of a khaki head on it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's got a nice surge on it. That's for sure. Um, I feel carbonation like this, is. I feel like this is gonna pile up some. Nope, not at all. Okay, I, I got the head on here. See. So. Yeah. I thought I had, I thought it would. It pile doesn't up smell that much different from the uh, blue not. can. Um, I'm gonna go with like copper color. Uh, I'm gonna go with a yeah, a light that's, copper that's, color. That's definitely copper right there. And uh, yeah, khaki head. It's just there's not a lot to smell there. There's a little bit, and it's a little grainy. It's kind of sweet. And a little it's sweet. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it was gonna smell. There's not a lot there though, uh, and the carbonation mm. is not light to medium. For you viewers interested, uh, I've never actually had the green label. Uh, we okay. Quick story: We have tried to shoot 
the Foster's video. This is the third time. <laughs> um, the first time. First the, time I wasn't here. You weren't here. And me and Steel <laughs> did the video. And for some reason, it, it, I recorded the beginning and the end. We were very drunk. If you've seen our ca Canada episode, we did it directly at the Canada episode. The second time we tried to do it, somebody stole the beers out of our cooler. So this is the third and final attempt. Hopefully, there's no problems with it. Let me uh, taste this. That's, um, it's got less of that weird bitterness, but the weird bitterness is still there. This one's much more pleasant. Oh, it's way better. I could drink this After one. having the blue label Fosters, I want more green label Fosters, but that weird bitterness is still there, and I'm trying to, I need to read about Fosters and figure out what that weird bitterness, bitterness is. It's, it's pretty good. No, it's I not like bad at all. I like this one. I could drink this again. There's a ready. If Bread. I want that's, a that's odd bready. shaped canned beer, I will totally get the Foster's Premium L in the green can. I don't know why they call it bitters. It is slightly bitter. It does say how to speak Australian on the can, but it still says made in the USA on the bottom of the can. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Uh, what do you rate it at? I'm going to go with 6.5 on this one. It's pretty solid. Um, I'd probably get it again. If I was, you know, going to a party and I wanted to get a couple different, not necessarily a 12 pack, but maybe get a couple pints or 24, 25 ounce. This is like 25.4 ounces, something weird. Yeah, it's, it's just a big, weird shaped can. 25.4, yeah, an odd shaped can. But yeah, I'd probably get it again. It's a, it's bready, nutty, kind of interesting, almost ale. And I really like the style of ale and I could pretend that this is ale if I wanted to so I'm gonna give it a five and a half it's not bad beer mm. I'd, I'd drink more of it I'm probably gonna drink more of it watch me drink more of it next we're gonna be trying the Cooper's Brewery Sparkling Ale this one is made in Australia and I don't think I have a bottle opener right here well that's okay because this is a twist top is it Good, I was about to chop the top off with my knife that's, again. That's right, that's right. Give me this glass. I was going to chop the top off with the knife. I don't well, remember. that would have been cool. I don't know what I did with those videos, because there was a video where I did chop some tops off. Yeah, you know what I should have done? I should have swirled this, because I've had this before, and it's got some particulate at the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I've had definitely this. definitely enhances the flavor. There's a lot of particulate floating around. I've had this before, yeah, too, and I, I didn't I like didn't it. I didn't get any. Really? I didn't like it. It's got, it's... It's, I, I I've got lots of chunkies. yellow. I call that yellow. What I call that call lots of chunkies. I call that. Yeah. I yellow. got the top of the bottle, and there's nothing in my glass. I got lots of chunkies. Yeah. Uh, Head is what? What do you want to call that? It's, uh, it's white. That's just white. That's not off white or anything. It smells almost like a cider. It's kind of fruity. It is. I guess I've never really stopped to smell this before. I've never actually stopped to drink this in a glass before. That's also odd too. It has a best after date instead of uh, drink before. Instead of a born by date? It's a best after those dates. So I guess it's a aging beer. It also says no additives or preservatives. <clears throat> so, let's taste it. Got a little fruitiness there. It's got a nice bitterness. Uh, lightly roasted flavor. I was hoping you were gonna detect the roasted flavor. Um, <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something about it so that I didn't taint your. Uh... Wait, did you guys try this? I've had for this the old video three times. Oh well, it's never mind. The third mind. time I've had it, and each time I don't care for it that much. Uh, it's not my favorite beer. Um, it's not necessarily offensive or anything. I just it's there's there's. The combined flavors to me, is, it sounds, kind of tastes like Dawn, but if you pick them out individually, it doesn't remind me of that, but as if I'm drinking like a big sip of it, Dawn. just swallow it, Dawn like dish detergent. Dish detergent, really? Yes. I don't get that at all. Um, I think it's If great. I just take a sip I, and swallow it down, it reminds me of Dawn dish detergent that's been sitting on a greasy pot for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but if I actually sit here and taste it, then yeah, I can pick out the individual flavors in it. And it doesn't remind me of that, but just that stuck in my head. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> it's just, and it's this a, is it's also a really like strange beer. $13 it's, for a, like a six pack. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, but it's, it's really strange though. It's got all these weird flavors running around it. 
you're not going to be able to buy a beer that tastes like this. I've not yet found another beer that tastes like this. And I feel in the mood for Coopers every once in a while. It's got a, it's a 12.7 ounce bottle, so you get a little extra in there. But still. <laughs> you get 0.7%. You get 0.7 ounces more than normal then that's uh that 0.7 is important to me it is that's extra so what would you rate it radar it's a little bit expensive but i think the uh, the unique flavor makes up for the slightly more expensiveness i'm gonna give it a seven so i'm gonna go 5.5 slightly above average um it's drinkable i'd drink it again but um it's not for your average beer drinker. It does have a lot of sediment in it and it does have a lot of different characteristics and flavor in there but like I said that Don, so you got a whole bunch of sediment. It's because I just sat there and yeah. shook it up first. But uh, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel you can leave a comment down below. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for watching.